Hello and welcome to the Performance Centre here at Howley Hall Golf Club in Leeds, where today we're taking a look at the new Maverick Hybrid from Callaway. Hi there, Ryan Rastel here for GolfShake.com, PJ Professional here at Howley Hall Golf Club, where, as I say, today we're taking a look at the new Maverick Hybrid from Callaway. But before we get into that, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, see loads more content from us here at Golf Shake to help you play more and play better. So Maverick, the newest kid on the block for Callaway, a new family, um, completely redesigned and introduced for 2020. Now, um, the hybrids, so we've seen in the fairway and driver how Callaway have used AI, artificial intelligence, to help design um, first used it last year in Epic Flash and now with the whole Maverick family. So we still see jailbreak that we've seen um, in some previous models to really help maintain uh, energy transfer into the ball, stop the deformation of the head quite as much. Flash face technology in there as well now. So um, using that artificial intelligence computer to design a club face that's going to make it uh, as hot as possible across the face but also in the different head sizes and shapes. So when we go into Maverick Hybrid, so the standard Maverick Hybrid here um, has uh, four or five different loft options, but then we have Maverick Pro and Maverick Max as well, which are also available in a variety of different lofts. Now, every single different loft and club head has a face specifically designed for it. So each individual one has their own face and also own head shape and design to really maximize what we want out of each one of these golf clubs. So in the max model, um, we're obviously looking at higher flight, more ball speed. Uh, this model, which we see that sits in the middle there, we're still looking at loads of forgiveness, but also um, ball speed um, and a bit of playability. And then the pro model, you know, slightly uh, more rounded, more fairway-like head, suits maybe a slightly different player, slightly flatter in lie, um, and we should see some different launch characteristics. But like I say, the one we're gonna focus on today is the Maverick Hybrid. So um, we've seen uh, in Callaway in the past, this more squared type appearance to the, the head. We've got the grooves going across the entirety of the face there as well. Um, and like I say, it's packed with this technology that the artificial intelligence has allowed the Callaway engineers to really cram as much as they possibly can into this golf club. So we're gonna take uh, a few swings with it, we're gonna hit a few shots, have a look at it on the track man here um, in the performance center and tell you how it goes. So the one I've got here has the, um, the Project X Catalyst shaft in it, 75 gram, and it's the three hybrid, which is 18 degrees, okay? So let's have a few swings. Initially, when we sit it down, um, it's, it's a much squarer looking club head um, in terms of the, the face and the way that's shaped, but it's actually quite rounded and sort of pear-shaped as you sit it behind the ball as well. Looks like it's going to be very easy to launch and get up in the air, um, but certainly, you know, it looks great behind the ball. We see that Callaway Chevron on the top there, um, and like I say, sits nicely behind the ball. Sits a little bit more upright than, than I would be used to in a hybrid, but let's hit a few shots with it and see how it goes. Pretty good strike. Comes off the face very quickly. Um, I would say it feels feels quite nice and solid as well. Um, let's hit a few more. Very easy to hit. Um, ball speed is is pretty damn quick as well. I mean we're we're getting up uh, 150 miles an hour ball speed, which is which is pretty quick really for a for a hybrid. Well, certainly quicker than I'd be used to seeing. Not quite out the middle of that one. A little bit left of target, but we're still seeing you know, good speed, decent distance. Um, it's a really nice club to hit, to be honest. Feels quite solid off the head, which I quite like. It's not sort of tinny and, and loud. Again, not a great strike, but We'll take it, it's down the middle of the fairway. This is super forgiving, I would say. Um, you know, those last two have been fairly poor hits, really. Um, but we haven't seen a huge drop off in distance. Let's just hit one more. Yep, 
Again, a bit of a push. Again, the, not a good strike. Ball speed has gone down slightly, but still, still decent. Let's just hit one more. So yeah, really, really impressed with that. It looks great behind the ball. Comes off the face quickly. It's easy to launch. Uh, the shaft is nice and easy to use. So um, it's one of those that's really going to help you get that ball in the air a little bit more as well. Um, certainly a hybrid you should be looking at um, for the 2020 season. Like I say, it, it's super forgiving. A um, bit squarer shape, so it's not going to appeal to everybody. More like that iron sort of shape, really. Um, but... You know, there, there will be a model in the Callaway range for you in Maverick because with the Max and the uh, Pro version, there's certainly going to be uh, a hybrid in there that's going to suit those different types of player. So definitely, as I always say, go and get custom fitted properly. Try each of the models and see which one's going to work for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, please leave them below or any comments. If you want to know more about Maverick or more about custom fitting in general, please drop us a line there and we'll answer all your questions. See you all very soon and enjoy your golf.